Shio here, and today it is another Kaizouk Sentai Go Kaiger review. Today we have the Gokai Spear. This box is gigantic. For those of you thinking about buying this product, because the box is so big, it can only be shipped EMS to the United States or anywhere outside of Japan, and so shipping winds up being about as much as the price you'll be paying for the product. So it's important to keep that in mind. It winds up being a pretty expensive toy when you figure in shipping. Let's take a look at the box on the front. We have this very, very nice graphic of Gokai Silver and the Gokai Spear. It also shows us that it does come with the Dragon Ranger key from Ju Ranger. On the back, we've got some more very nice graphics, instructions on the three different modes. The Gokai Spear has. Got this on the side, on the side, got a nice graphic on the bottom, and then on the top, like many other Gokaiger roleplay toys, we do have a lineup of Rangers, and we'll compare this to the lineup on the Gokai Saber. The key thing that makes the lineup on the Gokai Spear significantly better is the infinitely larger amount of Tommies, since we have two Tommies. Tommy is great, guys. Remember that. Keep it in mind. Tommy. So, now that we've taken a look at the box, let's take a look at the spear inside. So we've got it right here. It's big for a toy, but it's really small. Like, it's big enough to affect shipping, but it's a lot smaller than you want it to be, especially since you're paying such high shipping. On the show, it extends, so it's got a full, huge thing, and as you can see, whoop, I will accidentally press the button, we don't have that. It's sadly very small for what it is. Right here we've got spear form, which looks kind of like King Neptune's trident. I personally like spear form a great deal. I know that that hasn't been the case with a lot of people, but personally, I think spear form is where it's at. Take a look at the whole thing and flip it around and see it from behind. And then spear, the Gokai spear has two buttons, one on the side and a trigger. In spear form, you use the one on the side, and you tap it, and we've got a sound. We also take our Dino Ranger key, as you can see here, and we will plug it in for our final wave in spear form. And then tap. And we've got our sound. Then we've got an ejecting sound. The important thing to note is there is a holding sound as well when you've got them in there um, that will make a different final wave sound, but what that's really meant for is the anchor form. And so I'll show that off when I get them into anchor form, but just so we know we can make that sound in spear form. From spear form, however, we will switch to gun form. On the back we have this little gray tab that we pull, and those two pieces fold down. And then we've got gun form. Gun form is a little bit smaller than it is in the show. It is a little bit more show accurate. It's closer to being show accurate than the other two forms, but it's still pretty small. We've got some nice trigger sounds. Go bang, bang, bang. Not really a hold sound for that one. Then we'll get our final wave for it using our Dragon Ranger key. All ammo. And of course, when you do have it in final wave, it will continuously make this noise until you pull the trigger. And then pulling the trigger alerts it to do our whole series of explosions. Then we've got our key removal sound again. And those pop out. 
and then to put it into anchor mode, take the outer prongs and pull them out a little bit, and then they twist and tuck in. And so then we have anchor mode. Woo! I think it looks like a shovel. I'm just going to dig a hole with it, or you can row a boat with it. It's the sound of it splashing through water that it makes. I'm not a big fan of anchor mode myself. No, it's, you know, it is what it is. Everybody has a thing that they like, and everybody has a thing that they don't like, and anchor mode just isn't my thing. But in anchor mode, you've got the same sounds as the spear mode. We will take our Dragon Ranger key. And then this time, instead of tapping the button, you press and hold. And you get the anchor mode sound. We get our ejection sound. Overall, it's a fun toy. It's hard to say that I recommend it since shipping is so high on this toy. And its size is so not show accurate. But... The real reason why everybody does buy this toy is because it comes with a Dragon Ranger key. And what is Dragon Ranger? Dragon Ranger is Tommy. And Tommy is the best. So, you should buy this to get your DX Dragon Ranger key, which, you know, if you're doing the DX collection thing and you don't want just the Gashapon, Dragon Ranger, woo! That's a reason to get this, and to be honest, that's probably 40% of the reason why I went through the shipping cost, though I do agree, Gokai Jer Roleplay Toy Collection wouldn't quite be complete without the Gokai Spear. So, this is Horatio signing out. Comment, like, subscribe, do all that wonderful stuff, and I will love you forever. And to see this video and more like it, check out WritersRanchersAndRambles.com toku news and more in the craziest way possible and i will see y'all at the next review